This Solar Hunter build is elite for solo and pinnacle content, with the ability to keep you alive in the most intense and chaotic situations, combining two of the most potent capabilities of healing and invisibility, which you can proc together. And the best part is you can do this whether you're up close or need to take advantage of these abilities from a distance. In fact, this has quickly become one of my favorite builds this season, especially when soloing dungeons like Warlord's Ruin. I would even argue that these builds rival two of my other favorite builds that I did a video on with Fly assassin for strand and electric assassin for arc making this the third episode in my assassin's cow build series so you're going to first need to be running a solar subclass using the hunter exotic assassin's cow which upon getting a power melee kill will both make you invisible and regenerate a portion of your health based on the enemy that you kill on top of this any finisher will also make you invisible and any finisher executed while already invisible will extend the duration even further i recommend running this with knife trick which gives us a fan of three knives allowing us to not only get multiple kills but also apply scorch but you can also run explosive proximity knives which will allow you to just throw it at the ground near enemies without having to worry about hitting your target directly you are then going to want to pair this with the aspect to knock them down and the fragment ember of torches now it's very important that you run these two together otherwise the gameplay loop will not work the reason why is that because ember of torches makes any hits we get to make us radiant this then feeds back into knock them down which any melee kills we get while radiant refunds our melee this allows us to essentially have infinite knives and on-demand invisibility and healing as long as you can get a kill with your knives and you don't miss your target. Now I recommend also running Gambler's Dodge as sort of a failsafe in case you miss your target or your knife doesn't get a kill because you can just simply dodge near an enemy to get your melee back. As far as your grenade goes, I'm running healing grenades to help us proc restoration and then maintain it with solar weapon kills, but it also comes in handy in situations where you can't proc Assassin's Cow and you need a boost to your health. As for the second aspect, I'm running on your mark since we're running healing grenades on your mark is really our only other option but if you opt not to use healing grenades though i do think gunpowder gamble is a better alternative as the only real advantage of on your mark is buffing your handling and reload speed now when it comes to fragments we already talked about the importance of running ember of torches but to complement this build even further i would also run ember of solace which increases the effects of restoration and radiant making them 50 percent longer next is ember of empyrean which also extends restoration and radiant even further when getting Getting solar weapon kills, allowing us to max out that timer at 15 seconds. Next, we have Ember of Char, which spreads Scorch to targets affected by our solar ignitions, which then feeds into the next fragment, Ember of Singeing, which gives us a whopping 300% ability regeneration for 3 seconds when scorching targets. And finally, we already talked about Ember of Torches, making us radiant just by getting melee hits. Now, when it comes to the super, I like running Blade Barrage for DPS myself, but you could also run Golden Gun and Loadout Swap Assassin's Cow for Celestial Nighthawk if you wanted to. Moving on to the armor mods, on my helmet I'm running two harmonic cypher mods. I highly recommend using a solar weapon that has a perk like incandescent on it to really min-max these mods and I'm also running a heavy ammo finder. For my arms I'm using heavy handed which pairs perfectly with this build because we're going to be getting a lot of melee kills and it's going to spawn an orb of power every time we do. Then we have impact induction which anytime we cause damage with the melee is going to cool our grenade down even faster allowing us to use healing grenade more often. As for my chest, I'm just running solar resistance mods, but you can really run anything else here. For my legs, I'm running recuperation, which is going to replenish our health on an orb pickup, which will be producing a lot of orbs by getting melee kills with heavy handed. And then we have innervation, which is going to cool down our grenade even more anytime we pick up an orb of power. And I'm also running one solar weapon surge mod, but if you wanted to, you could switch out innervation and run two solar surge mods. It's really up to you. And finally, for my class item, I'm actually running proximity war. This is a very underrated mod in my opinion. I can't tell you how many times this has helped me survive in sticky situations, especially since Assassin Cow procs on finishers. This is a really great mod. And then I have powerful attraction. Anytime we dodge, it'll be able to collect all those orbs within a 12 meter radius. As for my loadout, I really love using scatter signal in my kinetic slot with this roll that you see on the screen. As for my energy slot, I really enjoy using Zali's Bane, but you could also switch it out for something like Callus Mini Tool or Sunshot, really any weapon that has incandescent or scorching capabilities. And finally, for my heavy slot dragon's breath is what i run it's just too good especially with the catalyst and especially dps situations where there's a lot of ads around the aoe damage kind of helps add clear for you making it a lot easier to stay alive but if you wanted to you could use other things like galahorn xenophage lament or apex predator if you wanted to free up your energy slot to use sunshot when it comes to the gameplay loop it's actually really simple and that's what i love about this build you're really just focused on getting melee kills and just using your weapons when you need to it's really just all about 
about proccing invisibility and health constantly, helping you to stay alive in sticky and chaotic situations. 